every beginning begins with a word. Amen. Whether it is a, a verbal word or a nonverbal word, every beginning starts with a word. Amen. Whatever you are trying to begin in your individual life, you've got to start with a word seed and get that word seed and put it on the inside of the nucleus. Once the word seed gets on the inside of the nucleus, I want you to understand, then it will cause, it will, uh, it will begin the incubation process to where now that seed that got into the nucleus is now being incubated. And now that it's being incubated, it will bring forth the life of whatever it is that got on the inside. It will literally transmute that intangible seed into tangible manifestation every single time. Amen. You don't have to check this out now. Watch. You don't have to guess what your harvest is going to be. If you already know what seed that you have sown. The harvest will be in direct correspondence to the seed that you sow. Amen. So we have to get more diligent and more mindful about the seeds that we are sowing. So if we, one thing that we have to know that if we're receiving bad harvest, that's because we were careless when we sowed the seed. You see, your seed already has to be programmed. Because once it gets into the incubator, the incubator will incubate what that seed is and whatever's programmed in the seed is going to come out the other side. Amen. In other words, the harvest that we're believing God for will begin to manifest in our life according to the seed that you have sown. Amen. This is a very important process that we all as believers need to get a hold of the process of seed time and harvest. The pregnancy, the pregnancy is, comes before the baby. The baby don't come before the pregnancy. The pregnancy comes before the baby. Amen? In other words, you got to, you know, how does pregnancy happen in the natural? Well, you first got to have some level of intimacy. Amen? That's the way it's supposed to work. Amen? Amen, praise God. Now, I want you to understand, in order for pregnancy to come in the spirit realm, there has to come some type of intimacy. Amen? In other words, you've got to be intimate with God. You've got to be intimate with the Lord. He says, that, you know, I stand at the door and knock, and those that open up the door, I will come on to them, and I will sup with them, and I will fellowship with them. Amen? So it requires some level of intimacy in order for pregnancy to take place. Amen? So that's number one. You have to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that everything begins with a word. And in order for anybody to get pregnant, and in, in order for you to get pregnant with your desire, it requires intimacy. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. I want you to turn with me to the book of Mark chapter 4. And let's get into this. This is one of my favorite processes. Ready? Amen? Read. And he said unto them, unto you it is given to know the mystery of kingdom of God, but unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables. Did y'all see that? I want you to know that this is one of the most profound mysteries in the word of God that he has made every born again believer privy to. I want you to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is a mystery that he did not intend for everybody to get a hold of. He said, I deliberately spoke in parables. Why? Because there are, some, there are some treasures in the kingdom of God that I'm trying to reserve for my people. But if I don't speak in parables, then anybody can get the treasures. I'm deliberately speaking in parables because I don't want everybody to get a hold of it. But I have made it available to every family member. In other words, I have given you a family recipe that will work every single time. How many of you in here, by the showing of hands, have ever, ha have ever received a family recipe? Whether it is pound cake, whether it is macaroni and cheese, whether it is barbecue, whatever the case may be, everybody has received a family recipe. Now, let me ask you this question. 
when you went by the specific ingredients in that recipe, didn't it taste like the one who gave you the recipe? It tastes just like your mama's, didn't it? He said that I have given you a family recipe. When he has given you the recipe of seed time and harvest time, he said, I'm giving you a recipe that will work every single time. This recipe is not for those people who are outside of the kingdom of God. This recipe right here is only for family members. If you are not a family member, you can't get my recipe. There are certain secrets in the kingdom of God that God did not expect to get out into the world, but we put it out there. Are you listening to me? So we have to know beyond a shadow of a doubt, whatever God has for us is for us. Amen. Matter of fact, they can, they, can, they, they, can, they can glean from it once we get it right. Amen. But we have to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that this principle right here is one of the most important principles in the kingdom of God. And we have to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that this principle works every single time. That pound cake recipe that you have works every every single time that macaroni and cheese uh, recipe that you got will work every single time seed time and harvest principle will work every single time anybody in the kingdom of God who gets involved with this principle it will work for you every single time and the church sees. One thing that I want you to realize beyond a shadow of a doubt that this parable said there's so much that is said within this parable. But one of the things that I want to magnify about this parable that it is centered around how you hear. Amen. Everything begins with a word. But depending on how you hear that word makes all the difference in the world because if the word gets into the soil or into the nucleus, I want you to understand that it will begin to bring forth the manifestation of whatever seed that you have sown. And the church said, he said the seed time and harvest process is the same process. He said that this is how the kingdom of God manifested. He said the kingdom of God had its starting point from a seed. Are you listening to me? He said we as individual, we had our starting point from a seed. Babies that come into this earth realm, they had their starting point from a seed. Animals have their starting point from a seed. Are you listening to me? Everything in this earth realm has its starting point from a seed. And he says that this is a great mystery that I need you to get a hold of. Because whatever it is that you're believing God for, you have to sow the seed for. And the church said. In other words, you got to impregnate yourself with what you want to see. If you're not taking time to impregnate yourself then you're not going to see the baby come forth. You first got to hear the word, you got to receive the word so that you can conceive the word. If you don't hear the word, receive the word, you will never conceive the word. Amen? Whatever that word is that you have sown, you will never conceive it if you don't receive it. And the church said, and we got to get a hold of that because there are certain things and certain ways that these words, intangible words and seeds, get into the soil. Amen. They're talking about not just hearing, but to where you're hearing and adhering. Amen. To where you're not just hearing with your head, but you're hearing with your heart. And what you've heard got on the inside of your heart and it has brought forth the manifestation of what it is that you heard. In other words, now that you heard it correctly, you are actually walking it out. Do you know that whenever you hear the word right, you will always walk that thing out? Amen? If you hear the word of wisdom, if you hear a word of truth, and you're not actually walking it out, that's a telltale sign that you obviously didn't hear it right. Amen? Hearing 
is one of the primary ways in order to impregnate yourself with what you want to see come to pass. Amen? In other words, you got to get it into your ear gates. And you got to keep on hearing it over and over and over and over again. I want you to know that faith does not come by what you have heard, but faith comes by what you continue to hear. In other words, you don't just get it one time and think you got it. No, you just heard it, and it doesn't mean that you got it, because you really don't get it until you heard it right. And the church said, Amen. are you listening to me? So we got to get, uh, we gotta, we gotta get this thing right. We got to understand how significantly important it is for us to hear properly. What they described in the book of Mark were four types of hearers. Guess what? That is four types of hearers in the body of Christ. Are you listening to me? But you, have, you can teach the same word of wisdom to a congregation of people. But I want you to know that there's only a percentage that will hear it correctly and step out on what they hear. Are you listening to me? Somebody say that's me. You got to claim that, amen? You got to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that that is you. You are going to be the one who is not a hearer only, but you are not a hearer only, but you are a doer of the word of God. When you heard it right, you'll do what you hear. Are you listening to me? And that's how we got to be. We got to become that way to where now that I have heard the word, I'm doing the word. Amen.